Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is KJ48, and welcome back to The Infected. Today, we are going to try to start animal husbandry. It's not a great time to try and start animal husbandry, as it is almost fall, and I think once winter gets here, I won't see any animals anymore, but we're going to give it a shot anyway and see how it goes. I wish it was kind of earlier in the... Uh, chicken right there. Okay, cool. We got to get ourselves a chicken. All right, in order to do animal husbandry, the first thing I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to come in here and find some mushrooms. Because we are going to use mushrooms to make tranquilizer arrows. And then I'm going to trank some animals. Now, I don't know if the animals will die in my inventory or not. But I don't have the time, I guess. I'm not going to be able to craft the animal husbandry building before winter. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to trank, I'm going to trank some animals. And I'm going to hope that they survive in my inventory um, while, you know, I am building the... I forget what it's called. There's some kind of animal husbandry building. And I believe it's right here. Yeah, the barn. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so I'm going to hope that the animals will live in my inventory while I make the barn. Because the barn will take me a few days. Winter will be here before then. And I think when winter comes, I won't see animals anymore. I'm pretty sure that's the way it works. Um, because, you know, the idea is they're not going to be out. So winter is going to be hard to get food and everything. So, let's just come on over here. I'm, I'm avoiding the scorpions. Although, the scorpions kind of look like the mushrooms as well. So, <laughs> maybe I'm avoiding mushrooms. Um, I'm going to need mushrooms to make the tranquilizer arrows. And I don't know how many I'm going to need. So, I'm actually going to grab a good amount of uh, of mushrooms here. Let's see what we need to make the, the trank arrows. Um, iron, feather, stick. Oh, yeah, that's pretty... Well, three mushrooms each. So, that's kind of expensive. So I'm just going to come through here and grab as many mushrooms as I can. And then we're going to get home and make some tranquilizer arrows. Oh, there's a, oh, that's a good amount here. That's cool. And I think you get two per, you know, pick. So this should be 20, right? Yeah, it's not so bad. Iron fragment, feather, stick. Iron fragment, feather, and stick. Iron fragments, feathers, and stick. Sticks. And I'm guessing that's in... Is that in the regular workbench? Um, advanced workbench. Okay. Fair enough. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make 10 of these. I'm going to save the game. So if, like, things don't go my way, I'll reload. Because I don't want to lose the arrows as I learn. Like, if the if the animals are going to die in my inventory, I'm going to reload. You know? Um, wait, what? I thought I had it. Oh. I was one short. Okay. Well, I've got nine. That's good enough for now. So what we're going to do is we're going to put these over here. We're going to put these in here. We're going to put our sticks back. And we're going to go looking for either goats or a chicken. Uh, oh, that's a goat. Hold on. Where is he? Actually, it sounds like a sheep. But I think you can only do goats or sheep. Let me take a look. I'm sorry. I think you can only do goats or chickens. Um, excuse me, whole line stuff must be, okay. I don't know where I read about the goats or chickens, but I'm pretty sure I've read that somewhere. So I'm not going to mess with the sheep. Um, let's go get the chicken. Kind of see if the, if it will live. Um, we're, we're already in the, in December now. So the animals, I, I assume the animals are going to start disappearing. Um, I don't ever remember like actually looking for animals and not being able to find them in winter. But I think I remember the developer saying they wouldn't be around during winter. So like you got to kind of, um. You know, plan for the winter, which I never do. Is that it? Is he going to go down? Yep, there he goes. Pick up chicken. Oh, no. Spoil well, that's four real life hours. I might be able to get it built in that time. Okay. Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to switch out the arrows. And I've got four hours to build the barn. It's very doable. Very doable. And I got to keep a lookout for a goat as well. I don't know if I need two chickens for them to reproduce. I have no idea how any of this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the barn over here. So in the meantime, I'm just going to chop down everything, but not with this pickaxe. <laughs> we might as well get rid of this stone. So let's do that. And then I'm going to start chopping trees like it ain't no thing. There we go. And we've got I've got four real life hours to get this done. Should be uh, very doable. Very doable indeed. In order to put down a barn, you're going to want a 4x4. Four four. You could probably fit a barn on a 3x4, probably, but I would like um, a little bit extra room. So uh, that's what we're going to be going for. I have a little plot of land 
set up out here, a little foundation set up. Um, I guess this side's going to be the farm eventually. I will just make over here a farm. Uh, this is eventually going to be moved, and this I'm, this part I'm standing on right now will be inside. This will all be inside. I'll put walls around this, and it'll come out and eventually come out to a farm. But right now, I just want to get this thing placed. So let's do that now, because we need to save that chicken's life. I wonder if we're going to have to feed these animals. That's another thing I wasn't thinking about. Like, um, I don't know what I'm going to feed them, right? So we're just going to have to kind of see and just kind of go with it and, you know, whatever. I've saved the game since I caught the chicken, so there's no going back now. Go. Plenty of logs out here, which is really nice. And, well, we got logs. Plenty of logs? Yeah, I don't know about that. I'd prefer not to get any closer to the uh, to the road as well. And honestly, like, I had to move the land claim block over there because it wouldn't reach over here. Now the land claim block is within this, like, the area is within this range. I don't want to go any farther that way, although I might go a little bit farther side to side in a future part of the build. We'll just have to see how things go. Beautiful. Love it. I should probably get a cart over here as well. Go. And we got to get rid of that stone. I'll do that last. <laughs> Definitely got to get rid of that stone. Got to go. I got to go get a pickaxe for it. The whole nine yards. It's going to be a whole ordeal. <laughs> Look at that guy. He tries to eat your food, by the way. Those, uh, those rats, those giant rats. What are they called? Raccoon. There you go. Raccoon. It's a raccoon. There you go. So anyway, um, yeah, that thing will try and eat your food if you leave it out. So just be prepared for that. Although I, I cook my food now. I'm not, I haven't used drying racks at all. Oh, by the way, I also set this up for like a build. I was going to build this today. And then I realized that we got animal husbandry. I haven't even touched yet. And I wanted to get on that. So that's why I have not done anything with uh, <laughs> that building right now. Because animal husbandry is where it's at. Start raising some animals. You don't get chickens anymore by killing them. You have to actually raise them. I raised chickens on a farm. I didn't raise chickens, but well, I kind of did. I mean, I fed them and I took care of them and I took the eggs out on a farm when I was a kid. You know, part of my chores was to, you know, get the eggs and, you know, whatever I had to do. Feed the horses or whatnot. Take care of the chickens. Feed the chickens. So that's what I did. So I have a little bit of experience with this. Got the foundation down. Went ahead and put down the barn. Now all we got to do is make it. There we go. Get all that stuff in there. We're going to need like, I think we need like a hundred, a hundred planks or something. Uh, for it. So that's what I'm going to grab right now. I guess we'll do the planks first. Like a hundred planks, 150 nails, you know, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be expensive, but that's okay. It's going to also be awesome. Expensive, but awesome. Yeah, yeah. I wish you, I wish you could either hold down the button to put stuff in, or maybe if, if, if we can't just hold down the button to put stuff in, maybe allow us to put things in five at a time, or maybe just hit one button and put everything in we have. Like, no one survived? That would be awesome. I would really appreciate that. We gotta keep these things going. There we go. That should be enough planks being made and ones I already have for the entire thing. Oops, too much. Got a little too, little too carried away there. A little too carried away. I like the way this base is coming out, though. I really am. I probably won't move around as much stuff as I thought I was going to. I'm definitely going to move the farm at some point. Uh, or, sorry, the uh, garden. I don't know. Whatever you want to call this. I think I'm going to take this and put it over here. And this is this ground is coming up too high. So I'm going to have to have um, foundations over here. Like so. Like that. And I'll probably put a staircase over there or something. You know, I'll figure it out. But this is going to come up a level. And then that will be where the farm is. I think that'll look really cool. Give it a lot of character. And what do we need? 11 more planks? That's what I think. 11 more planks. Let's go ahead and... 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We need to turn all these into nails for the 150 nails. 5. One. Actually, I probably could have just found the... I probably could have just found the recipe, but that's okay. What do we got out there? What's out there? Hmm. Yep. And stupid sheep. I'm pretty sure 
the thing can't do sheep. If it can, I'm gonna be a little. I'm gonna be a little upset. But um, I, I'm almost positive I've read on the update notes that it's only chickens and and uh, goats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'll check again though, because that sheep is just asking to get tranked. Oh my god, all these nails. All right, and then after this, we just need ten iron ingots, and we will be good to go. Oh my god. <laughs> Like what was the dev? I love I love your game, bro. But like seriously, hundred I gotta hit the E key 150 times for this. I feel like I'm playing a button masher at the arcade. Ah oh, goodness, thank God it's over. I don't think we have the 10 iron ingots. Let's go check really quick. Mm, pretty sure we don't. None in there. None in. Yep, we got three. All right, that's fine. I can be. Oh no, that's all steel and. And aluminum and stuff. All right, time to make some uh, iron. Unfortunately for me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I did move this thing in here, and then I stopped with the whole move because I wanted to do animal husbandry. Bit of a bummer, but what are you gonna do? I just double checked the update notes, and I am correct. It's goats and chickens, and so it says in the update notes. So no point in going after any sheep. And there we go. It comes with its own butcher's table. And, yep, there you go. Goats and chicken. All right, so what do I feed them, though? I'm going to think about what I'm going to feed them. Uh, I guess I should just put the chicken in there right now. I mean, chicken eat, chickens eat, like, seeds and stuff. But the thing is, I won't, like, I can't... When I grow crops, I don't get an abundance of seeds. So I'm not really sure what to feed the chicken. Um, I guess... Uh, I mean, they could probably eat water... Uh, not watermelon, but um, uh, pumpkins, right? I don't know. I'm just going to kind of have to find out. And we're also going to have to do some fighting here pretty soon. Wait, where'd the chicken go? I restarted the game, got the chicken again, and said, Oh, the chicken is in my inventory. What happened to it? Well, what happened to it was when it, when you go into the barn, it automatically puts a chicken in there. So the chicken was actually in the barn. I just didn't notice because I was looking at my inventory. <laughs> Freaking crazy, right? All right, let's do this. And this. See, they're right there. Okay. Hunger. Butcher. It's a male adult, so I guess I am going to need a female. Let me see what I can feed it. If I can feed it pumpkins, we're good to go. Yeah, I didn't think so. Alright, let's see if we can feed these guys pumpkins. Uh, yes, okay. Oh, cool, okay. So this is the amount of feed that's in the actual building. And this is the chicken eating and getting its hunger back. That is freaking cool, man. The only thing I'm annoyed about is that I'm gonna have to uh, I'm gonna have to wait until winter's over to catch some more chickens. I'm thinking. Again, I don't know for sure, but I'm I, I, if I take a guess, I would say I'm not gonna be finding any animals. But I don't know 100%. That is freaking cool. Now I'm not gonna want to fight during the night, so let me go ahead and save the game, get some sleep. And then it'll be daytime when we uh, when we fight. I'm losing hunger and stuff, which kind of sucks, but still, I'd rather fight in the daytime. All right, that'll be pretty good. Now I need some pumpkins. We gotta do some pumpkin. We gotta work with some pumpkins, people. All right, and I'll grab that. And I will just go check on the chicken. I don't think the chicken would have produced anything by now, but I, I'll double check just to see. Let's go take a look. Okay, cool. Hunger's good. Yeah, you know what? The, nothing's happening with the chicken while I sleep. The game kind of pauses when you sleep because the developer doesn't want you, uh, you know, just being able to sleep through to get stuff really quickly, which does make sense. So, And here we are ready for another base attack. And here they come. But from where? Not seeing them. Oh, here they come. What's up, guys? How's it going? Stop that. Alright, there you go. And... You're dead. That's the boss right there? That's the, um, that's the nastiest boss in the game, I think. I think, anyway. Um, the, yeah, the werewolf boss. I don't know why he calls them mini-bosses. They're not really... There's nothing mini about them. <laughs> Alright, uh... Do that. 
and that, and that, and we really got our teeth kicked in this time, but we survived. I think I'm going to use a big med, med kit since I need 80 instead of 50. Oh, yeah, the loot's kind of mid. Okay, cool. Never mind. The loot, that last loot was really good. Awesome. So, how are these things doing? Yeah, you're fine. You're, you're fine. Oh, by the way, I put up a clay extractor. Uh, and clay extractors run on, um, well, they can run on biofuel or oil. So that's cool. I also went on to the official Discord for the game and asked about chickens being out. Nope, you will not see animals during the winter, which is pretty much what I thought. So it is what it is. What are you going to do? Um, since I'm not going to see any more chickens for the rest of this episode, I'll put those tranquilizer darts away, put some sticks away. Cool. Well, you know what? That's okay. Now it gives me it gives me time to work on this room. And uh, we will we started animal husbandry today. We will go hardcore once, you know, winter's over. And I, I don't know what I'm going to get from chickens. I'm guessing eggs. I don't know if there's something I have to do to get them to lay eggs. I thought I would have seen an egg by now. And what would I be able to do with eggs? Let's take a look. And, oops, sorry, food. Food. Okay, so eggs. Um... Potato pie, uh, pumpkin, milk. Okay, so I'm going to need goat for the potato pie stuff. Uh, eggs are also for bacon pie mix, which is veggie mix, milk. Again, I need that. Uh, meat stew. Not sure what the meat stew is. We're all over it. Yeah, I don't know what... Oh, you need milk for everything, dude. I don't know what the eggs are for. Like, is there, uh, Let me put it this way. Is there anything I can do with eggs that I don't also need milk for? I'll look through these a little. I'll look through these off camera um, and really look through them. It seems to me everything I just everything I looked at just now, if you need eggs for it, then you also need milk. So if you don't have goats, the whole thing is pointless. Um, but I can always cook eggs and eat them anyway, so that, that's not too bad. Although, wait, can you cook them? I don't know. I usually eat them raw, but I'm I'm, I'm assuming you can cook them. No, well, it is what it is. Let's go. We got to do some organizing. Um, I like there's just stuff all over the place at this point because I have not been organizing properly. And that is unacceptable. Put that in there. Put that in in there. I should go check the cave as well. So let's go let's go check the cave. And then when I come back, I will also check the farm. When I'm done checking the cave and the farm, we will get to the building. Let's get to some building. By the way, I'm gonna start planting potatoes as well. Um, potatoes are a staple crop in this game. I should have been like Growing them the whole time. First of all, they give 10 uh, vitamins, which I, I, I was actually lacking on quite a bit, the vitamins. Second of all, they can be used for potato paste. And third of all, they're used to cure your, what do you call it, infection if you eat after you've butchered an animal. Uh, potatoes are really, really good. Now, the prepared meals are all really difficult to make. Um, as, as I showed you earlier, a lot of them actually need to have, uh, you know, milk. So if you don't have a goat, you can't make that stuff. Uh, I'm, again, I'm going to look through it. When I get a chance, I'm going to really take some time and look through it and see exactly what kind of uh, prepared dishes I can make. Prepared dishes are kind of a hassle and annoying and not really worth it, except except they raise your stats. You know, your your hit points, your stamina, your water, all like most of your stats you can raise by those prepared meals. So that's why you do the prepared meals if you want to raise your stats. So that's what I will be doing. At some point, um, but not right now, because again, if you don't have goats, as far as I know, you can't you can't get that milk anywhere else. So it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of planks from here, and we got to do some serious, serious building. I think um, my biggest problem right now is that I just don't have enough room for all the stuff I want to build. Oops. Build this wall, this wall. This is their dividing room, a dividing line for the, for the room, so I can make extra stuff. So I usually like to have everything up against the wall, and I can't do that as easily if I don't put down this second wall. So it's gonna be cool. All right, good. Now what we're gonna do on this wall is we're gonna put all of our ingot shelves. Okay, I won't do that right now though. Uh, I'd prefer to finish these before I do any ingot shelves. Honestly, this thing needs to be the first thing that I finish. So we are going to need some more iron. So, yeah, I used all the iron. Okay. 
So we're going to take a bunch of this. And I also have to grab some clay and make uh, more bricks for these things. Well, I'm, I'm going to need actually a lot of iron, which which is good because I got a lot of iron fragments. But the problem is I don't have enough power to run the stone crusher long enough, which means I have to finish some of the stuff on the on the roof as well. I got a lot of stuff to do. A lot of stuff to do. Oh, another thing I wanted to do, I wanted to do this before I did anything, is I want to pick these. Um, oh, that's right. I came over here to pick these and I couldn't uh, because they weren't ready. I'm going to pick these and I'm going to plant two of them as potatoes. All my bricks are nice and dry. How heavy are they? Eh, pretty heavy. Yeah, I can only carry two things of them. That's okay. And we're just going to come over here and put these. Oh, here we go. Got to hit the E key 50 times. Well, only 40 because I only have 40 bricks, but... I've also got some uh, shelving lined up behind me. Uh, this thing should be just about done. We just need a few more planks on that. And then I'm going to move the... There we go. And then I'm going to move some of the... Some of the chests over there. I don't have trouble saying the word chest. Come on and say the word shelving. Oh, also, I went ahead and made this thing. So that I can put all my clothes on here when I want to. So that'll be cool. And let's finish this up. And let's start bringing some chests over here. Uh, we're going to start with these, although mm, I kind of want to move this in the other room as, as well, but I probably won't right now. We want to keep that chest right here, and then we're going to move these over here. Eventually that eventually that stone, stone grinder will be in this room. I'm not really sure where. Maybe like right here might be a good spot for it. I'm not really sure. I also want to start putting some lights up, man, but like I don't want to deal with the freaking attacks. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like, not having lights in my base is starting to aggravate me. Um, okay, how about this? And I, again, I don't know if this is going to be the case or not. I've talked about Seven Days to Die um, before. Seven Days to Die is a thing where if you put down torches, it, it calls in screamers or whatever. But if you put down, like, electrical lights, it doesn't do anything. So I think maybe, like, fire should attract the, the infected, but maybe not electrical lights. So that'll give us a reason to you know, strive to get electric. And right now, right now I don't have the, uh, the only, the only recipe I don't have in the game. The only tech I don't have in this game is the electric lights. And I couldn't give a crap less. I really don't care because I don't want any lights up at all because all they, all it does is call in hordes. I don't want to deal with. So give me a reason to use the electric. Give me a reason. Come on, dud dev. Give me a reason, bro. I want to use the electrical lights. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab a bunch of planks and we are going to finish up sh finish up some of those shelving units. Although I do have a copper here. Hold on. Let me see if I can put this in spot. So right here, I have three iron and three copper. So one, two, three. I'm going to delete this one. See if we can just slide this in there. Mm -hmm. Yes, we can. It's going to take a little bit of doing. All right, it looks pretty good to me. What I do is I turn down the uh, DPI on my mouse so I can get that really close, intricate, you know, movement on these things. And it's funny because when I first set up the DPI thing on my mouse, it was to be better at FPS, um, specifically when I was playing, um, uh, what do you call it? Freaking subsistence, right? Like I wanted to like be really like precise with my shots and not miss. So I messed around the DPI setting and it worked out great. And uh, now I use it for other stuff. So that's iron, copper, uh, aluminum. All right, and then after aluminum will be what's what I, I'm putting them in order of the way they're set up here. So iron, copper, aluminum, and cobalt. Beautiful. Which is what I want to get this out of here so I can walk through that door properly. So again, hit my DPI setting. And I like to move out a little bit. Come on. That right, works for me. Cool. And uh, yeah, let's just keep uh, keep using planks. Get these things uh, taken care of. And now we're getting organized, guys. Now we are really taking advantage of the organi organization that the game offers, which is just fantastic. And I'm not going to take any more planks. Why don't we just... Uh, yeah, why don't we, why don't we pull ores out of here so there's no ores no or sorry ingots 
Ingots, ingots, ingots. Nope, no ingots. Where are all my ingots? I don't have a lot. There we go. Got some ingots there. Some ingots there. And that's it. Oh, some here. Alright. So I have all my ingots on me. So let's go ahead and put them all where they needs to go. Iron. Copper. Aluminum. Cobalt. Steel and screws. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put these just in boxes for now. The steel ingots and the... um. Oh, sorry, did I say steel and screws? I meant steel and lead. <laughs> Give me one of those days. So at this point, it's just, you know, continue getting bricks. I've got all the dry bricks in here. I'm gonna, I've got all the dry bricks uh, out there drying. I'm going to have all three of these ready to rock and roll. I just need a bunch more iron ingots. I need to finish the shelves behind me. Uh, I'm probably going to put down another one of these uh, chest racks here and take it from there. I've also started moving some stuff into here, trying here, try and make some room, moving some stuff into here. Uh, the noise value is going up really, really quickly. I'm going to have to figure out some kind of defense. Um, the only way I could think to do defenses is to have these, uh, what are these things called? These barbed wire fences with spikes in front of them. And the spikes in front of them, even upgraded to iron, are just going to get torn out by the werewolf guy. So I don't even know what they're for, but, you know, I guess it'll kill all the other stuff. So maybe I'll only have to deal with him. And that's all I'm looking forward to. Let's go check on the chicken. It is 8.50 at night. So let's see what's going on here. So is this chicken going to lay eggs or not? I mean, he's been, I think he's been here for almost a day now. So I'm not really sure why he's in here or what he's for. Uh, I guess maybe the idea is you get you get in a, a male and a female, they reproduce, and you can butcher them. But I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be laying eggs. So I don't know. Um, I am going to call this one here, though. If he lays eggs before I actually get off, then I will um, do a little bit of post-commentary stuff. But yeah, as of right now, that chicken is absolutely useless. All right, guys, I'm going to call this one here. If you never joined the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then... Take it easy.